Hello everyone. This video I will show you how to use the you know Office 365 Exchange Online to allow the printer to send the email to other people in your company and also in other companies. So normally we need to do a few things in order to allow the printer to send the email out to other email address. So the first step we need to find out the public IP address for your company. Uh, you can do this by go to the google.com and input what is my IP and search and I find my IP is 118.208.101.311. The next one is to find uh, is to find out the MX record for your Office 365 domain. So my you know my domain name is ccq two zero two zero dot microsoft dot com. If I click MX look up. I find out the host name for my MX recorder is uh, ccq two zero two zero dot mail dot protection dot outlook dot com. So after we find all of this, then we go to the uh, admin dot Microsoft Microsoft three six five admin center, and then we go to exchange admin center. In the exchange that means that we go to mail flow and then go to connectors. We create a connector. I have already created a connector in the when we create a connector we select from your organization email server to Office 365. We'll put a name as allow printer scan to email address and then select from you know your organization to mail server. Then we need to restrict the send IP address. The send IP address which you is the one I find out from my the public IP address from my you know company is one one eight two zero eight dot one zero one dot triple one. Saved now. After this one connector is created, we need to make sure the status is on, content is off because I'm using development, uh, you know, uh, subscript subscription. If it's in the production environment, you should be able to turn the status on. So because I'm using I'm not the production environment, after this is on, then we can set up on the printer, go to the printer, you know, uh, website and then go to the uh, network tab and then select the SMTP, input the host name as the one we find out from here. We find the this MX record. 
and then we select the port is 25 and uh, select no authentication then we should be able to send the email from the printer to other email address thank you for watching